Hey yo everybody, I'm Nick and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. On the last episode, we went to go charge into Shinra HQ and well, here we are. So how about we, you know, charge them? Destroy the intruders! You know, this sort of thing. So, you're ready to whack some assholes? Because I think I am. And it's just a bunch of mecha suits and stuff. So punch them to death! There's not much more to it other than that. And they're gonna try and shoot us, but no! With that cover material, I just get in the way. And what, you just go to shoot me? Twice? Yeah, nice try, buddy. We're just gonna blow through you. And there's people under them. Yep. Yeah. There's not much more to, there's not much more to these guys. Just, you know, hit them and stuff and, ow! Stop rollerblading me to death. And you do not have the bolt magic. It is Cloud who has the bolt magic because I left it on him. And of course, I'm just holding circle because God damn it, these guys are being a pain in the ass. Can 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 we leave? Unfortunately, you can't run from this fight. You gotta you gotta whack him to death. There's not much more to it other than that. Oh, he's already dead, so the bolt will hit the other guy. Will you do max damage? You do enough damage. It's more than punching you anyway. And now, if we could just finish you off and continue moving through the building, that would be great. You would do more fights if you went and bust through. Just gotta say. And we even get a cloud level up. Ooh, tranquilizer. This is one of the first items that could actually affect our uh, limit break, or limit gauges. The key card to the 60th floor. Let's go in the elevator and, you know, get all the way up as far as we can go. So, yep. We could go to the 60th floor. I and mean, also the first floor if you really wanted to, but we're not gonna do that. Are you gonna say anything? Oh, I have to talk to you. This is the real thing. Don't let your guard down. I hope Aerith is all right. Didn't realize I actually had to talk to them. All right, 60th floor. Ah, oh, crap, this section. We have to run over this way, not get their attention, though we could if we wanted to. There's not really much anything in here. Look at that, all them guards is running around. Cloud, you go on ahead and signal us when it's safe to come. All right, this section. You have to hide behind these statues and wait for the guards to cross. You can go across when they're walking like that. They won't see you. They have like line of sight. And then you use circle to signal everyone else. So this part's pretty safe. See, it's pretty simple. The other ones are running, so they might be all, they might be a bit more of a pain in the ass, so. There we go. Now if you could walk like a jackass, there we go. If you get spotted, you get kicked back for a bit, get caught a couple times, then it's fighting words. And since they're running, you gotta make a beeline for it. So what I'm gonna do is wait for them to go this way. I'm gonna wait for them to go to the, like this. Whew, that could have been toasty. All right, Barrett made it. Now Tifa can easily make it at this point. So run back. There we go, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay, we are gonna rock. Remember, we're here to save Aerith. Hell, I know that. I just got the voice for uh, fucking Team Four Stars Machine Abridged Barrett, and that's where that voice is coming from. Anyway, you can explore these floors just fine. I don't remember seeing your face before. You new here? Say, you're cute. Let me teach you some things. Oh, how to get to the next floor. But you gotta get key cards to uh, get up there. And only, yeah. Each key card only takes you to a specific floor. And that's how we have to get around. 
what you call it, Shinra Repair Division. And he'll even give us a key card for our trouble. I like that one. And there's not really too much to this specific floor. And you gotta keep getting key cards to go up. So, since we got the 62nd card and this is the 61st floor, let's just, you know, go and do that, shall we? Go on the 62nd floor. Here we go. Oh my god. Not this game. Oh no. How do you do? This is the Midgar Mayor's office. Mayor Domino is in his office. I am the Deputy Mayor. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Hmm? Oh, and who might you be? You all must be those... <coughs> me? I'm Domino, the Mayor of Midgar. Actually, I'm Mayor in name only. The city and everything in it is really run by Shinra Incorporated. My only real job is watching over Shinra's documents. Me, the mayor, a librarian. Oh. You want to get upstairs? I'll tell you what, if you can guess the password, I'll give you my key card. Yes, that's it. Guess the password and I'll give you my key card. Get it on the first try, I'll even throw in a special item. And if you talk to this kid, did you speak with the mayor? What, a password? Oh, I get it. He's got way too much time in his hands, but you can't really blame him. Everything in Midgar is controlled by President Shinra. Maybe I can help you. What do you want to know? Sure, sure, all right. As a public servant, it's my job to serve the needs of the people. So here's a hint. For 500 gil. Oh my, well, thank you very much. Now listen, on this floor are four research libraries for four different sections of Shinra Incorporated. Parts of the password are hidden in each of the libraries. Pay careful attention to the files in each room. The name of each library is written on the plaque outside the door. So the gimmick is this is the Peace Preservation slash Weapon Development Research Library. You need to look for things that are out of place. Material production, land weapons, peacekeeping law, breakdown of Shinra members, economic report, and Mako energy and the rise in life forms. And what you're looking for is, uh, so Mako Energy, the number two. Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. Ah, uh, fucking hell. So, land weapons, material production, peacekeeping, Shinra, Shinra members. Yeah, Mako Energy, I'm gonna punch down the number two. And keep that in mind. So I'm gonna, thank you phone. I'm gonna do the number two, or fucking thing. Put down a number two. Now remember these numbers for later because they correspond to a letter in the alphabet. And this one is the space development research library. Now if something doesn't involve space, then it doesn't fit. So number 15. Or at least planet movements. Well, I need to pay attention to the other ones. Urban planning, what in the hell is that doing here? That really shouldn't be here because the other ones are a failed space mission, a space development program. Yeah, number 10, fucking fails. All right. Third library, uh, Cloud, scientific research. All right, what's the number here? Uh, Maka weaponry, experimental animals, Dr. Gast, he's a, that's all science -y, the ancients in history. So it's looking like the number 14. All right, if I get this right on the first time, this would be fucking sweet. But if I don't, them's the brakes. Urban development. So I need to pay attention to urban development documents. 
Plate construction, city maps, uh, a reactor construction chart. Hang on. What's the space programming doing here? So 16. Ugh. So if I get this right, because two is the letter B. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. K, L, M, N. O, P? That doesn't make any fucking sense. I'm gonna talk to the guy again just to make absolutely sure. I've got the hint at least. Uh, what's the next hint? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll toss you the fucking money. Yeah, I got that part. Let's let's see the next one. You're gonna rob me blind. Okay, the number at the beginning of each file name. In the title of the file, right. Oh, that's the, f that's right, that's right. There we go, that's the thing I'm missing. So, two is the number A in this one. This is different in each playthrough, just so you know. All right, that's the last one. We still have a good amount of money too, actually. Uh, fucking load, please. Ah, uh, that's not right. Where's the number 10? Number 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, wait, 3, 8, 10? Because that one's going to be either O. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That would be a space of ice, so it is definitely the letter O. All right. Let's go to the other ones and fix my fucking mistakes. I want to I want to do this right on the first try cuz you actually get a good reward for this. All right, that's not the right one. That's not it. That's not it. Ancients in history. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14. All right. I have A, O, and H. What the fuck is this supposed to be? Anyway, last one. Which one is the number 16? That's not it, that's not it. Come on, give me the money here. Come on. All right. Six, 12, 14. Fuck? That's not gonna make any goddamn sense. Oh boy, we're gonna have to wing this one. All right, he did. Yeah. He, I, we're gonna just got to wing this one. Uh Hmm. Hmm. Fuck. I think I may have messed this one up. God damn it. Why is orbs a thing? Is this a reference to Final Fantasy 1? And that translation, I highly doubt that would be a thing. Anyway, since we're gonna miss out on it, we get an, we get, you get an elemental materia for this. So which, if you link it to a corresponding element to your weapon or your armor, you either give your weapon that elemental property or give yourself some kind of resistance based on the level the elemental materia is. 
So it looks like I'm gonna have to yeet an answer here. Thankfully, I can do it whenever I like. I really don't like this section of the game. This is probably like my least favorite section of Final Fantasy VII uh, of everything. Because I hate this part so much. What was the point of me fucking taking notes? Seriously. I'm gonna try another one. It was Mako? Damn it. Alright, he gives us the key card. And he gives us an elixir. And, uh... Yeah, asshole. Thanks. All right, now can we go up to the next floor, please? I hate this game. I hate that part of the game. I like the rest of it. Thankfully, we only have one more floor of this stupid bullshit. Oh, this part. Fuck. Right. You have to op- you can only- you have to open the chests in a specific way. Cause normally they're locked. Cause this would give you a map. They all locked for now- oh, nope. This one opens. They- all the chests open in a specific order. Cause you gotta get every set of mi I think you can- Oh, there's also encounters up here too. God damn it. Might as well show them off while we're here. And these guys are just like, hey, we gonna smack you bitches. And I'm gonna fade in and out to do it. And I'm just, you're just gonna miss like a jackass. Now if I could just zap you to bits, that'd be great. Because they're machines, Bolt beats the ever-loving shit out of them. Wait, what the fuck? Where you go? Hold up. The fuck? Uh, did I? Oh, there he is. I was like, he disappeared for a long time. I thought I glitched something there. Jesus, don't scare me like that. Ah. God damn it. At least I can start earning my money back. Assholes. Uh, I believe this is like the last one that opens. Or do I have to... Oh wait, right. I have to put the parts in. And then the chests start clicking open. That's how it works. And you put the parts in to... Uh... Yeah. All, you just gotta complete the model and you can keep going. And the last thing you'll get is the next key card. And I, that was actually probably a lucky guess, if I had to say. And the model even includes the busted sector. Jesus. Alright, so keep placing the parts and things will click. There's only three more parts to go. The only thing that's really gonna annoy you are the random battles. So if this is nothing diff- if this is the same guys... Oh, nope, these are new guys. These guys basically look like fucking buzzsaws and it's fucking weird. So if you can, you know, shoot them down, I'll blast them away. And I don't think that- w oh, pff, they can even saw through the entire party for little damage. So you're gonna be okay. I think they're still machines, so... Okay, they're not technically machines, but they do take a shit ton of damage from a bolt spell. So that's cool. And I'm gonna build up that limit real quick. Aren't I? Unfortunately, they're gonna take more than one punch to do so. Oh, no, there's the limit. He's He's gotta attack first. And I guess we're just gonna save that until the next fight. Okay. Loco weed? Look, weed is normally supposed to make you chill AF, not go fucking crazy. 
Yeah, I think that causes confuse, I'd like to say. Now, if you could put the, pro the parts in, please. Thank you. Now we gotta go run back and get the other chests. Is it this one? This one works. Okay. Ugh. I think I need to drink some more water once this uh, recording session's all done and over with. Place the parts. Only one more parts left. I don't have any more parts right now, Cloud. Come on. I didn't need, I don't need to deal with this bullshit. The only thing I need to deal with is doing the run around and grabbing the last parts because the key card is in that chest and we can't open that chest until all the parts have been put in. Only two encounters so far though. That's pretty good. I like that. Of course, no encounters would also be spiffy, but then I can't actually show off the enemies. Okay, now we have the next card so we can keep going. So if we can just open this chest and grab key card 66. I mean, this isn't exactly a normal way of infiltrating a uh, hideout, but okay. Also, the nicest floor has the nicest key card. 69. Nice. -y. Everyone's scrambling into a meeting. What the shit? We'll deal with them shortly. And we can't deal with anything over here. It's just people around. You're getting... Just, you know, that won't actually do much of anything. But these doors are actually open to start going up floors. So you can now actually go into floor 67. Oh, no, you can't actually. Not yet, anyway. Oh, there's still encounters in here. Motherfuckers. Oh! Actually, this is super good. This is super good. I want to see these guys. Wait, no, no. This is Barrett's turn. Uh, actually, I want to use Cure on Cloud real quick. And I want to steal from these guys. These guys are soldiers of the class. They're trying to put me to sleep. And it worked. I need to steal from them. But only one of them. So one of them can fucking go. Thank you, Cloud, for taking care of some whack-ass soldier. Now come on and steal already. I suppose I could wait for Barrett to wake up or I could just, you know, whack him with the Buster Sword. That would be cool too. But what else would be cool is stealing whatever these guys have. Jesus Christ, that, that hurt quite a bit. Um... Use Cure on Tifa, please. I only use the accelerated turn to try and steal again. Yeah, not this time, Bucko. Fucking steal already, god damn it. They have a thing I want. Assholes. I just want to punch you after I take this thing. Because you saved me the time of having to farm you out. Oh, don't you fucking. Oh, thank God you missed. You know, I should probably wake Barrett up. Oh no, he woke up himself. Awesome. Man, you missed so many turns. He's probably gonna run out of MP at some point. And that actually hurts quite a bit. You're gonna build up all our limit gauges, asshat. So give me your fucking thing. Which is give me your fucking sword. I want your sword because it's better than the Buster Sword and that's pathetic. It really is. You're giving me Final Fantasy IX flashbacks here, and that's not okay. That's really not okay. Because the steal percentages in those games are horrifying. Don't look. Trust me. Ah, <laughs> I just want the thing. Give me your thing. I can't stop you from doing this, technically. And that fucking hurts. Stop it. Give me your stupid item! How many steal attempts is this? Yep, that, that's uh, out of MP, by the way. Which means all he can do is slash at us now. 
There we go, hard edge. Thank you. Goodbye. Can we shoot you to death, please? No. God damn it. So I'm just gonna use my limit normally then. Will this finish you? It did. Thank you. Fuck you. Get out. There we go. There's our excitement for the episode. Anywho. Let's go equip that hard edge. You can see it's significantly better than uh, what I had before. Yeah, stealing weapons is good. Let me tell you that much. Is this the floor? This is not the floor. We have to run all the way up to 69. That's right. Oh no, we can't. I did a thing incorrectly. But still, I got to steal a weapon. And I couldn't ask for anything more than that. Ain't that fucking cool. Yeah, when the lights are red, the doors are locked. And that's shitty. And I did need to go to that bathroom after all. Right. I remember what I needed to do now. The doors only open up once we do a thing. And that's called... Going up the vent. We can also flush. <laughs> how about we just fucking get up here? I don't know how that worked, but okay. Crawl your ass all the way over here, Cloud. Jeez, that's a lot of suits. We have the damage estimates for Sector 7. Considering those factories we already set up and all the investments and the damage is estimated at approximately 10 billion gil. The estimated cost to re rebuild Sector 7 is... We're not rebuilding. What? We're leaving Sector 7 as it is. And restarting the Neo Midgar plan. Then the Ancients? The Promised Land will soon be ours. I want you to raise the Mako rates 15% in every area. Rate height, rake hike, tra la la, and please include our space program in the budget. Raven Scarlet will divide the extra income from the rate increase. Oh, man! Man, that polygon. Sir, if you raise the rates, the people will lose confidence. It will be all right. The ignorant citizens won't lose confidence. They'll trust Shinra and corporate even more. <laughs> After all, we're the ones who saved Sector 7 from Avalanche! That dirty <laughs> Hojo, how's the girl? As a specimen, she is inferior to her mother. I'm still in the process of comparing her to her mother, Ifalna, but for now the difference is 18%. How long will the research take? Probably 120 years. It's probably impossible to finish in our lifetime. Or in the lifetime for the spe of the specimen too, for that matter. That's why we're thinking of breeding her. Then we could create one that could withstand our research for a long time. What about the promised land? Won't it hinder our plans? That's what I need to plan. The mother is strong, and yet has her weaknesses. Yes, Hojo is an asshole, we get it. That concludes our meeting. And she's like, something stinks. She caught wind of us, holy shit. They were talking about Aerith, right? I don't know. Probably. Let's follow them. So now you gotta go backwards, and that's not going backwards. Cloud, go backwards. We need to go backwards through the vent, and you know, get out of here. 
Close the thing. If you please, let's get out of this shithole and tail those bastards. And the way up should be able to go. We should be able to use the way up now. Hojo, huh? Yep, the time to tail is now. At least at this part, anyway. I remember him. That Hojo guy. He's in charge of the Shinra Science Department. Cloud, don't you know him? This is the first time I've actually ever seen him. So, that's what he looks like. And off a tailin' we go. Although I think we should probably save that for the next episode. So, on today's episode of Final Fantasy VII, we uh, continued infiltrating uh, Shinra headquarters and now we gotta go tail this Hojo bastard. So we'll do that in the next episode. So with that, I'm Nick. And I'll see you guys next time.